All right, moving on to the next one, Affirm. Um, this is also reporting earnings. Both stocks are reporting earnings on Thursday. Um, so this one, um, I'm not a big fan of BNPL, but as you can see, the stock was $15 back in November. Now it also hit its all-time high, or at least in the in the near term, to $52. So there's, there's a lot of momentum, especially being in the fintech space. A lot of companies use it. Uh, they have had a pretty decent, uh, you know, guidance on their GMV, and that is amazing. But look at the implied move; it's eighteen percent, as opposed to Cloudflare, which is about ten percent. So you're looking at about seven, eight dollars of an implied move. Uh, Wall Street has a hold rating on this one. Wall Street has a buy rating on the on not, uh, Netflare, sorry, on Cloudflare. Uh, but we do see a very strong support coming on the Feb level at thirty-eight, and there is also a confluence with the volume shelves there. You can see. Uh, pretty decent volume there. Uh, and then put to call going into the earnings is 0.59 with 169% implied volatility. So if you are big into a firm, you could take advantage of it. I'm going to stay away. Um, but that's how I'm looking at the chart right now. There, there are different levels, but the volume starts to dry down after 38. And until you get to 24, that's when more volume picks up. Uh, so that's what, how I'm seeing the chart. But I'm I'm staying away from this. I'm not getting into this trade for. What do you think, Sean? Yeah, I, think, I think for me, the, the, it's not a very nice chart, um, to be honest, in terms of the price action, not the way you've displayed it. It's beautiful. Um, but basically, since the turn of the year, I think, like just before the turn of the year, it's just been kind of trailing down, just kind of dribbling down. Um, and that's kind of channel. And obviously, I... I I'd be more interested after the earnings report, whether it be negative or positive, and playing it off that and between the levels that you've drawn. Um, but just looking at this chart, it doesn't, doesn't fill me with much joy, especially being below the 20 and the 50 as well. Um, you said, obviously, the support at the 38% level for the Fibonacci. Um, again, I think it's not as solid as it could be, I think. I think it's just trailing down a little bit, like a, a lower low. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of this chart, but I'm, I'm interested in what happens with the earnings report, or at least post-earnings report. So I see a very clear setup here, you guys. Um, and $44 level is probably right in line. So for those that like to trade a firm, like I do think if you're if you're bullish, the setup is here. It's like you said, Sean, been dribbling, right? Not not looking good, but it's kind of formed a very clear trend line from that peak down to where we're at. You could draw a clear line, I think, from that top to the tops of all of these recent candles that have been rejecting and back below the 20 day moving average. And I think that if we break above that line, it's probably gonna break above that $44 level as well. And it's right around the same spot. And that, you know, close above 44, that's when I would, <clears throat> excuse me, get bullish. Um, <clears throat> it looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a little a bit of profit taking was here a little bit and yeah. after a huge run up. And so why not, that seems healthy to me. You break that trend continue higher and keep the trend running i think you're right bnpl is is actually kind of catching back on so we'll see yeah no that's a pretty good i that's a pretty good trade idea because you still have about three three and a half dollars on the stock which is what nine percent eight nine percent if you're trading yeah. yeah right you still have plenty of room to run sorry i was doing my best patrick mahomes impression there <laughs> that work anyways <laughs> yeah you'd still have plenty of room to run right and uh rsi would also be in a little bit better spot it's already in a fine spot above. similar about 50 you're looking right. at another rsi with 50. so i actually kind of like this for a potential setup i'm gonna okay you win this week for me for adding to my, oh, both uh, of them all right i win this one yeah. i brought both of them right no yeah, I, yeah. I personally don't <laughs> like to play a firm uh i i it's too rich for me to play if it was 20 dollars, i would play a firm but uh, at 50 i have better options that i can get more and if i end up owning it i'm happy owning uh that stock underlying stock